Maybe you've heard of udon before, and maybe you've even eaten udon before, but maybe you don't know how to cook udon. Well, today we're going to fix that by making beef udon. <laughs> So we're going to be cooking this meat separately from the soup. So once you know how to make this soup recipe, you can actually use that for any other time that you make udon. You don't have to just use it with the beef, you could substitute it for chicken or maybe some stewed vegetables, and then you just combine it with this soup and the udon and you have a new dish, so it's really easy. But my fridge is basically empty right now, so first I just need to go and buy some ingredients. <laughs> Okay, so those few ingredients that I just bought at the supermarket plus the spring onions that were still in my fridge are the only fresh ingredients that we actually need. So we're going to start by cutting up the spring onions and the ginger. So that's all we need to cut unless you need to cut your meat. I have this kind of scrap meat that's already readily cut very thinly. You want something that has a little bit more fat on it so that it has a bit more flavor, but also so that it's nice and soft when you cook it. I used chuck meat before, which is the shoulder, and that ended up quite tough actually. It's a little bit, a little bit chewier, a little bit harder to have with the very soft udon. So something that's a little bit fattier and easier to bite into is better. So first of all, cook the ginger just until it's a bit fragrant and a bit soft. You only need a very small amount of oil. Grab all of our ginger, pop it in there. Whilst that's getting a bit soft on a nice low heat, I'm just going to make my sauce. Okay, I should have actually made this uh, sauce before I started cooking the ginger because my ginger is already done, but it's okay. So our three heroes of Japanese cooking, soy sauce, mirin and sake. Now I'll put in my meat. So this is about 340 grams of meat, but you can do with like 150. It just depends on how carnivorous you are, I guess. I find it easiest to do this with chopsticks because then you can just break everything up. Then once everything is mostly brown and it's let out quite a lot of the fat, then we can add in our sauce. And just heat that for a minute or two until the sauce has thickened. You don't want to overcook it because then the meat will start to get tough. Okay, it's been about a minute and when I move the meat then it kind of leaves a trail behind. So the sauce is pretty much ready. And it's smelling amazing and I'm thinking that I maybe did too much meat so I'm gonna turn this off. That has nothing to do with it but I'm turning it off now. If you do make too much meat like I did then this goes really well just on a bowl of rice honestly. I just want to kind of eat it all right now but I won't. So now I'll go on to the soup which is super easy. So for the soup our main flavorings are soy sauce and mirin. So one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce and the same ratio of mirin. For the soup base itself, we're going to be using these two dashi powders. Oh, okay, I've got to move out of the screen so that it'll focus on these. Um, dashi is just the Japanese word for broth, and these are just two different types of powdered broth. So this is a fish broth, and this is a kombu broth. Kombu is a type of seaweed, and these are often used in Japanese sauces and soups. You can make this yourself, and I actually have a video about how to make it yourself, but I have found that with this particular dish, the meaty soy saucy flavors really overpower any mild differences that you would get from making it yourself. So it's much easier to just use the powdered dashi in this particular case. So I just pour in both of the dashi powders into my pot. And then some very hot water. <laughs> okay, I could do this, okay. Uh. And then our soy sauce and mirin. And is that it? I feel like I'm missing something. No, that's literally it. So heat that through and just bring it up to a very gentle simmer. 
And when it's just starting to bubble around the edges, then you can put in your udon. By cooking it in the whoa, okay, it's done. By cooking it in the broth like this, then the udon actually soak up a lot of the flavor. So I do actually prefer to cook it in the broth rather than cooking it separately. And that's it. It really is that easy. So let's go and give it a taste. So this is a kind of warming noodle soup dish, so I really think of it as more of an autumn dish. So of course I decided to make it in the middle of the summer rainy season. Basically it's just a really easy thing to make, so recently I've just been making it all the time. So let's give it a taste. With this dish, I really like the contrast of the very mild soup to the rich meat. And then I always put a little bit of shimi on there, which is like a Japanese style spice. And this one has a little bit of citrus in it as well. So it has like a nice little tang that goes with the spring onions as well. But the main source of the flavor is definitely the beef and it tastes so good. I mean, there's still a bit of chew to it, so it still has a little bit of contrast to the very, very soft udon. These udon noodles are just like, if I just pinch it, then it just flops off. So <laughs> it just goes really well. And the soup is very light. If you're only going to learn how to make one udon dish, I would recommend learning how to make this one. And for any of my regular subscribers, you might notice that things are a little bit different. I'm trying to make things a little bit more natural. I kind of feel like my previous videos were very flat and just a little bit boring to watch. So I'm trying to slowly incorporate my personality a little bit more into my videos instead of just making it a purely instructional video. So if this was at least a little bit more entertaining, then please comment below letting me know. Or, or if you found it less entertaining because that would also be very helpful because I have fun making them but I also want you guys to have fun watching them. But that is it for today so I will see you again next Sunday. <laughs>